so I said in the uh, the Skeletech review that that uh, Master of the uh, uh, the Master of the Universe Revelation Revolution cartoon was one big commercial. Now I pre-ordered this way before the cartoon came out. The cartoon came out about uh, two weeks ago based on this recording which was the very beginning of february of 2024 i pre-ordered this back in like october of 2023 because two things i love white mage orco i thought that was super dope what they did in revelation and the fact that you get Gwildor was like oh okay cool um are both these figures worth uh 34 bucks we'll find out so before we get into that Let's check out the box art. So what we have is White Mage Orko and Gwildor on the front. Gwildor with his key on the side. White Mage Orko and Gwildor again on the back. Pictures of the two of them together. And a continuation of the picture. Once again, I really love the way Mattel actually does work on the Masters of the Universe line. They do a really good job in making these boxes look phenomenal and unique. Uh, they are never one picture of the same figure all over, which is a, a gripe of mine. Like, hey, if you're going to do something, make it unique, make it pop out so that you can say, hey, you know what? Yeah, it's not the greatest picture or something in that nature, but it's unique to that thing. And Mattel does that all the time. But, as usual, let's find out. Oh, what's in the box? So, we get a really good mix of action figures in the box. I am actually really impressed. Um, even though both of them are not really action figures, they're both accessories, you get some really good accessories in the box. So, besides White Mage Orko and Wildor, we get a newly reforged uh, He-Man Power Sword, which is not accurate to the show, and I'm pretty sure this is because they didn't have the drawing beforehand. It is close, but not 100%. Um, it looks like they kind of went for him forging it, because that's what he was doing, but there's a little bit more details that they kind of missed on it. Um, we have Gwildor's Key, the same accessory that, a very similar accessory that we got from uh, Evelyn. Evelyn's and Gwildor's key. We have Gwildor's, Gwildor's walking staff. We get some magic effects for White Mage Orko, and we get White Mage Orko's uh, his cape for the back of his suit, as well as we get some spinny magic effects that come with for Orko. And I'm pretty sure this is backwards. Let's fix you. Let's put you back in place now. So, really good mix of accessories, even though one of the accessories is a little bit eh. And I know why it's not uh, accurate is because they are basing it on concept art and not necessarily the final product, which is fine. Um, but pretty close. Great mix of accessories, especially for two figures. Not expecting... Uh, additional hands for them because all Orko Orko's not a fighter so the magic effects that they gave as well as the floating base phenomenal Gordo is not a fighter so I'm not expecting much for him so I really appreciate them just giving us a key from the movie and that's it really good accessories Mills definitely went and shot them um, let's check out the designs and see how good these things look so Gwildor looks fairly decent, uh, not quite as good as either the movie or in the the uh, the show. The show even had him look a little bit uglier. He looks more like a rosy elf versus kind of a troll thing, which was kind of the look that was in both shows, both the show and the movie. And the white mage Orko is basically the Orko figure with a new bottom skirt piece and a new headpiece. Um, 
I would try to get to it, but it's a pain in the butt to get to. But um, this is not necessarily a complete reuse, but it is pretty close to one. But you do get a new base, you get some new effects. This is actually a really good design, fits the show. Once again, this is this is from Revolution and continued into, not Re it came from Revelation and continued into Revolution. So they probably have more time to design it a little bit better so it's not just um, concept art. So this is exactly accurate. Let's see if these guys can do squats. Psst. One and two and three and four and. So the question is, can these guys squat? And the answer is absolutely not. They don't have the articulation to do any of that. Um, they barely have any articulation at all. So as much as I'm excited to have these figures, they're basically statues. Um, Gwildor it has, let's move you out the way. Gwildor has some movement in his ankle, can move his legs so far, a little bit bend in his knee. He has some ankle pivot and some twists, no toe articulation. His arms are super stiff and I don't want to force it and pop them, but uh, single jointed elbow, not going to get much range out of this. Uh, a little bit of waist bending, not much. Head can turn left and right, not going to get much out of that. Um, he's not doing much. Orko, on the other hand, can do even less. Has no legs. His hands, even though they can move, are limited by his clothes so he can kind of rotate them you go up and down but he's not getting oh that's in the way move sorry <clears throat> can go up and down but he's not getting much movement out of it can barely go back and forth um what's really cool let's see his face can't see his face see his face can't see his face so they gave him some really good movement on his head but you're not getting um you can look all the way up, all the way down, left, right. Not much movement on his hands. So you could get some really cool poses out of him for Orko, but he's not doing much else. No legs to move, no hips to move. So he is basically stuck on this base and you can see the base is here. Um, you can rotate him on the base, but you cannot do from the inside of the base, you cannot do anything else. You can lean him forward, lean him back but he's not gonna get much else out of that, which is fine, because he's basically a floating cloth with hands. But yeah, he's not really doing any crazy dynamic poses. Final question is, is this worth the money? More money, more money, more money. So, move out the way, box. This was a basically a, a no-brainer for me. I remember the Masters of the Universe cartoon, uh, not cartoon, movie from the 90s. And I love the, the Skeletor there. I love the fact that Gwildor was supposed to be a pseudo Orko because they didn't have the technology to do a floating cloth back then. So that was cool. I loved, I just love the dynamic movie. So I wanted to get Gwildor. I'm disappointed that this Gwildor is a little bit even more cartoony than what we got from the actual cartoon, from the Revolution cartoon, but I'm really glad just to have him in my collection. And White Mage, or White Mage Orko was such a badass at the end of Revelation that it's cool to have him in the collection, especially with all the accessories they give him, which the other Orko was, just an, was actually an accessory to the Savage He-Man, so I'm glad to have a proper white mage orco and him looking like he's supposed to like he's he can take on the world so is this a must buy no but maybe wait till it's a discounted i don't know if they'll get a discount uh, i've only seen this on big bag toy store i haven't seen it in target i haven't seen it in other places where they do heavily discount master of the universe toys so you might have to wait a year or two for a big bad toy store if they ever get a discount to give you one but if you're a fan of the show and you were tempted to buy it because of the great advertising that that whole series was absolutely go get this figure anyway that's it for me guys i'll catch you in the next video